Boys. Conversation long over though. So Shaq doesn't think he's a top three center. I think he put himself fourth in his list. I can't remember who the fifth person was, but I know it was... I know the, the ones in front of him was Kareem, Will, Bill, and um, and then it was him. I think Shaq is being very modest. Can we really? Like, really? I get it because he now he's talking about himself now, and that's why I'm not really turned up right now. Because if it was somebody else that said that and, and like was saying, like, you know, there's no way he in there... You're fucking crazy. Have, how many of y'all have really seen him play? And I'm talking the prom, like legit prom shack playing. It was nasty. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like one of them things when it's like... I don't know if y'all ever seen a, a, a chihuahua and a rottweiler getting a, a squabble. Personally, I haven't, but I know... Damn well, it might look how Shaq looked when he was one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Nasty. Nobody really wants to see that because we know what the outcome is. Listen to this. I know people say this a lot with LeBron about, you know, like being the freak athlete and no one can guard him and, and, and he's just overpowering. That's what this man was right here. Look at, like, look at this. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. Clogging up the paint to stop him and got no fucking chance of doing it. Boys. Oh, okay. Let's let's talk about it. Let's really talk about it. Because, like, if you're being honest, it was a point in Shaq's career when it was just clear cut he was the best player in the NBA. And it wasn't even fucking close. It wasn't even fucking close. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even close. Just dominating any center. Like, and, and listen to what I said. I'm not just talking about being the best center. In the league. I'm talking about the best player in the league. And it wasn't close. Now, we can start really talking about it, right? We can really talk about it. Where do y'all think he's ranked? In my opinion, I try, to, I, I try to go over maybe where he would be. But I know at the very least, I'm saying Shaq is at least top three. Right? Because, okay. Now, like I, I'm, I want to throw some names out here that you could argue. That's that that's probably was over him. You know, of course, Kareem. Like people really don't bring Kareem name up as far as, and not like just a center. I mean, as far as like possibly the best player to ever play in the NBA. I I might lean a little more to the Jordan way. I might lean a little bit more to the Jordan. Uh, side of that, but Kareem definitely can make a case for being the greatest of all time. He can definitely make a case, let alone center. You know what I'm saying? So maybe like that's what I'm saying. Like maybe third, because I might put Kareem over Shaq. Maybe I might have to go over some Kareem tape, look at a little Shaq tape a little bit, because we only can speculate, right? Because it's with the ages they at. It ain't like they going to play one on one outside in the backyard or something, right? But this is the thing. I say you could put Kareem, right? Like, because there's a couple centers that that can compete. There, we're not going. I'm like, I'm not going to go that crazy with it because there's some centers we can bring into this conversation. You know, of course, Wilt Chamberlain, dominant. He was dominant, but I feel like at that time, like. I really don't want to say this because I don't want it to seem disrespectful. I really don't want to say this, but I have to say this. When it comes to him and Bill, they were bigger, way bigger than the other competition they was going up against. Like, people weren't really close to their size. At least on every given night, at least. At least every given night, they weren't really even their size. And I'm not really trying to disrespect it because, of course, we know what we talk about on this channel. We play against who is in front of us. So, yes, he was dominant. If, if I'm talking Will and, uh, Will, Will and Bill. Will and Bill. Dominant. I'm not going to go against that. 
But I'm just saying, if we're going into who was better, that's the only thing I'm talking about. Like, I'm not trying to discredit what they did in their careers. I'm just going off of this conversation alone. I'm only going off of this conversation. I'm not going on, oh, this person had a better career and that. No, I'm just going over game. I'm just going over game. That's all I'm doing. And what they went up against. That's all I'm that's all I'm doing. Cause you know we y'all wanna come I know people want to compare all oh, faster than them. Oh, he would have blew past it. What a would have should have cut her if what a cut her should have he then they would have or I forgot how that shit go. Y'all look it up if you wanna know what I'm talking about. Anyway. You know, and a name I don't hear a lot. I don't hear people bring up Hakeem Elijahwan enough. I do not hear people bring Hakeem Elijahwan up enough in those type of mix. When you're talking the greatest centers of all time, Hakeem was well beyond his time. Well beyond his time. Like, I can only imagine what he would average in this type of game now when these centers would legit have to try and stop him one-on-one -on -one with that agility that he has. The agility and the power that he plays with. Can you imagine? I feel like this shit Hakeem Olajuwon does is what we should be seeing Embiid do. If he stopped worrying about threes and stuff like that. I think like that elusiveness, like that speed, that blow by, those little hezzy moves, like them little shakes and shit. Like I feel like that's what we should see Embiid doing a lot. But, of course, he doesn't keep himself in shape. You know what? This isn't a bash, and this is just me talking about Shaq. Let me get off of that before I turn up. Because I know how I do. I, I, I don't hold back when I talk my shit. So, let me just go Let me just go away from that real quick. We're talking, we talking about where Shaq is ranked. But, yeah, Shaq, like, and, and, and it, I don't know. Let me, I, I want to review. I probably should have did all my reviewing of it. I might, I, but, but, you know. A lot of my stuff is just off of impulse. I just straight go into the video. I say what I say. And then I leave it up to y'all to mingle with it. Or, or y'all to just ponder with y'all thoughts. Right? But I I think it's no way you don't at least put him top three. I feel like at the very least. At the very least top three. Like when you, and like let's think about this, because of course you know Shaq was like more built like his earlier years in Orlando, but even we talk about the Lakers, right? You're seven, you're a seven footer. Shaq was about three something, getting up and down the court like that. First of all, moving with the agility that he does, like when he does that little uh spin move, you know when he posts, do the little quick spin and then go up and dunk it on somebody's head, that move. There is not many if anybody else at that size will be able to do that move. Then getting up and down the court, moving up and down the court, not staggering, not breathing hard and pacing and shit. Like, he's legit getting up and down the goddamn floor at that size. That is crazy. That is crazy. Then I get y'all like to say this little dumb shit about how everybody shoots now or whatever the case may be, right? If Shaq was in this type of league right now when everything was one-on-one, -on -one, stop it. Everything is legit one-on-one. -on -one. Cause you know, like now in the NBA, everybody plays like a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. And we're just talking basketball, and you trying to go one-on-one -on -one with this motherfucker? Are you crazy? Look at this. Look at this. Look at look, look at these highlights. You got them trying to just collapse the paint and it's like they're not even there. Stop it. And you know, it's not really too many people like that. Most people that disagree with, with, with what Shaq said is basically they're disagreeing that he's that far back on the list. And that's why I say like, you know, you can bring up sinners, right? That we're doing this, that we're doing that, that we're doing this and doing that. I understand that. But it got to the point that it's like Shaq got to be one of those type of what-ifs too, right? And 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 not really much, not too big of a what-if. It's just a minor one, right? Just a minor one. What if he 
hit free throws more frequently, right? And you couldn't try a hack a shack thing with him. Could you imagine? I think we see way more championships. I think we see way more championships. I mean, but I still think we see way more championships if, you know, the beef thing didn't happen between him and Kobe. I think we still see more championships then. But, you know, it is what it is because things happen. Things happen in life. Things happen. You can't change them. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. But, yeah, easily, man. This this is one of the most dominant forces ever. And, like, this is like a center I grew up watching. You know what I'm saying? So, maybe it could sound like I'm overhyping it. I might could be overhyping it, but this is what I saw. When I was growing up and I was seeing him post people, spin off of them, hook a shot, dunking on every fucking body. This is what I saw. And this was the expectations when you call somebody a dominant force. Shaq was just that, period. Come on now. Stop it. And it's not like we just talking offense because we could talk defense with the shot blocking. It's not like he didn't play defense. It's not like we only talking offense. He rebounded. Also give you highlights. Like, at that size, giving you highlight plays of what? What about when he bring it down the rim on somebody's eh? Come on, man. I'm just saying, at that size, doing what he was doing, that was a freak of nature at the time. Hall of Famer, you know, we already know what it is. Uh, it's just disrespectful if somebody don't call him one of the greatest sinners. So please don't nobody try to troll in the comments and say something stupid like that. Because that's going to be some type of shit that pissed me off. And I probably shouldn't have said that. Because it might be some jerk off that go do it to piss me off. Saying something stupid. But y'all let me know, man. Where, 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 where do y'all rank him? Where do y'all rank Shaq? Where do y'all rank Shaq? And what about um some of the other ones I named? Also, uh, I don't, I don't think he'll be this high. But maybe honorable mission to uh, David Robinson to give him an honorable mission in this video. About like, you know, some of the top centers. It's a lot, man. We can really go down a lot of top centers. Because I, I didn't say a lot of people names. So if y'all got anybody that y'all want to bring up that was a top center... Put that in there too, because I didn't bring up a lot of names. Because this could be a, a this video can can get out of pocket. We really start bringing everybody. But like I said, at the very least, Shaq has to be top three at least, at least top three. Don't be too modest, big fella. You're at least top three. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You might not like what's going on. Maybe somebody you know like what's going on. Because <laughs> until next time, boys, I'm out.